Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I don't like that guy. Look at him staring at me. Ugh. No! No, I've been poisoned! Doom! Doom! Oh. Huh. Plus, ugh, HP. Nothing. Okay, so I have to wait for something else. Like this, uh, cheese and some grain. Yeah, I guess they would just straight up eat that, wouldn't they? Oh no, I can't do that, because there's a jump there! So I can't take this over there. Or down the ladder, I assume. Or no, the ladder just leads to the same area. Fine! For you, the altar appeared the ghost of a great warrior. The ghost is once the hero Gwynland. She bid you take the treasure chest and the treasure. So does a magpie attack. Hmm. Or am I gonna find a beard anyway? Yeah, I never got any closer to that, just the rough, right? The baldric, they call it. Okay, okay. What does this mean? Choose. Oh no, it's just scrolling up. Okay. There's a main quest. Not here, there isn't. It's not appearing in that other box, too. No, nothing happens when I click on it. Uh huh. Nothing happens when I press A on these, by the way. Word too rude to define. I do like that. Wait. No, not the bomb. I'm lost. Oh, wait! That doesn't help! That just loops around. Who the fuck is that? Okay, that one. Okay, that one's got to be Dwinlin off to the far right. So who the hell is that down south? Could it be one of the guards actually survived? Here, take my machine gun. You'll need it more than I will. <laughs> I think I'd be pissed if that happened. Because that is silly. Oh, uh, no, it's this button. Oh, wow, I didn't even see this. Uh, what? But I can't go there. What, am I talking to the fish? It must be below me. I don't know what he, he below or above or something, because... Okay, and then it should be right here. Might be a nice time to make bone armor. You know, if you're some kind of maniac. Oh god! I forgot about that. 
If it doesn't look anything like that in the image, you will note. Okay, I'm a smart guy. I can figure this shit out. I was kind of hoping that just the armor would be enough from that moment forward. Well, that's not going to help. I can't see anything from this distance. Wait. What in the world? Do you hear that? I guess you're just not expected to stop on the ladders at any point. Okay. That's kind of a weird one, but alright, I'll allow it. Just rip his fucking mandibles out and stab his friend with them. No. Ah. Uh. Oh, just got caught in the environment. Great big fucking bird. Yeah, okay. Let me in, let me in. What if I had a bomb in my hand? That's not a bomb. I mean, I could. I could just whip this at the guy and call it a day. This is not the one, but still. Wait. Oh, no, this leads to the thing I was trying to get to. But I'm a moron and don't know how to uh, solve that problem. What if I tried dislodging something from its perch? Oh. I'm embarrassed, for one. Uh, I don't know what you guys. <laughs> oh, boy. Watch should be a spider. Hello! Was I supposed to be able to do that? Is this sequence breaking? me confused. Oh. Hey, that guy is gone. I hope he didn't dead. I hope he didn't dead. No. Where was it? No. No! Yeah, okay, it was, yeah, it was over here, because I was looking straight at the urn when I came out. 
Actually, I'd have to get it over the door, wouldn't I? Oh, I'm just so conflicted right now. I, can, I guess I can come back, but... Want to bring more fucking bottles, or...? Also, I don't know where the third dead guy is. I haven't seen any other bodies wearing armor. All right, fine. Let's go talk to Silas. Oh, right. What a strange and creepy place. Bring this back out here into the light. Or at least, you know, leave it there. Uh, I guess I'll save. Nothing. Just check it. Keeping you on your toes. I am not an idiot. Commissary, anyway. Where that guy said I'd find the dude who took a shift after him. Oh! I don't know why I did that without uh, thinking that through. Pardon me. Bum ba dum bum bum. Da -da 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 -da. Right, I hadn't thought that through. I will put the armor back on because getting to Silas is kind of a pain in the ass without it. But I'm not happy about it. Climb that. Excuse me. I'd really appreciate it if you would stop breathing down my neck. I'm just saying. a guy right there. God damn it. I seem to be lost again. Pardon me. Actually, I am about to need that, so, uh, yeah, sprint speed. Ah, oh, that's better. It's like scratching an itch. Oh, for God's sake. Shoo! Be gone with you! Didn't use a lot of oil this time, because, uh... 
I wanted to have the sticks in my hand, you see. Oh. Well, I clearly have no idea what I'm doing, but, you know. Oh, a rose. God damn it. Oh no, I just fell straight back down here. Straight back down here. Yes. T stumbling over my own tongue today. Uh, uh, that's not up. That was weird. Oh, I see. It doesn't actually connect over there. Your mentor or Mera, to choose between them was unthinkable. Tomorrow will be the day, you told yourself, as you'd done yesterday and the day before. You slept in fits and starts, rising before dawn no closer to a decision. Master Lulin's room was empty, blankets neatly folded at the foot of his bread. On the table was a loot, his loot, made by his master from driftwood gathered on the shore of Lake Velia, and a note. This life is your song. Well, I guess Master Lulin was, uh, more perceptive than Tylo realized. Good on him. <laughs> I have no idea how to get back up the tower. God damn it. It had to be, oh, I guess I went up the wrong staircase, into the wrong section of the t uh, castle. Feck. Oh, that was a bad call. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Uh, you! Oh, jeez, that had good timing. Right? I was just here. Cursing the name. Uh. Oh, this looks better. Right. I can't. I don't, can't and don't need to do that right now. Tom to Tom. Actually, take that off so I don't look ridiculous. Uh, yeah, good. Put on this hat I found on a dead man. Right, uh... Oh. Oh! Shit, I didn't even think of that. I'm a moron. Or I 
guess he's the fuck, the guy who raises the Beatles. I broke open, I found this inside. Alright. Silas unties the neck of the bag and pulls from it a slim silver cylinder, intricately de decorated and sealed at both ends. What's this? I have no idea. This is everything from the chest. The rat pulls a silver band from his pouch, not much bigger than your paw. In the brazier's light, you notice fragments of an inscription engraved along across the band's surface. Oh. No, I'm gonna live with it. I made the stupid mistake about the, uh, the beetle egg, so I'm gonna have to figure that out on my own. Or pay Rolo! Right, the tallest area in the game, of course. More convenient than, uh, the other place, anyway. Ooh, timer. And it's quite late, actually. It didn't bring up the notification until it had been done for 1 minute and 46 seconds. Oh, yeah, it is there. In that case, I'll just grab this. Future uh, projectiles against that goddamn spider. Unless it's healed as soon as I left its rendering range. When is it that I alone can see you? Reach in your pouch for Bryn's Lutka, but the figurine is gone. Huh. Are you sure you're not thinking of me? Great Clarions, the, mass the collective name for a ring of massive, ancient structures that stand in ruin at the southeastern shore of Lake Velia. Most now lie submerged beneath the waters of the lake, or beached upon its shore, their wooden ribs half buried in silt like the bones of some ancient or some extinct leviathan. Of three, there remains almost no trace, save for the timber pilings they once stood upon. Though stripped of its copper skin by scavengers, the clarion high above the shores of Duinlin Heights is nonetheless among the most well-preserved. The clarions derive their name from their unique horn-like design, but the true purpose is a mystery to the New Age, long since forgotten by all but the magpies. a weapon in the War of the Green Flame. The Green Flame. No one remembers where the Green Flame appeared first. A force without conscience or thought had killed and consumed all those standing in its path. When the world was teetering on the edge of the Bright Abyss, 
it almost caused all life to end. Some see the green flame as a creation myth, others as a metaphor for greed and power. The truth is that the rat's influence over Pangaea can be traced all the way back to the legendary battle of Periclave. King Rodgar I, Jarlan, Dwinlin, those mighty rat heroes may have died centuries ago, yet all still remember that their sacrifice was necessary to finally destroy the green flame. The absence of thought. Jarlan, a true hero of rat folklore, Jarlan was general to Rodgar, the first rat king, during the final battle of the War of the Green Flame. The general did not survive the war. Contemporary accounts of the Battle of Periclave describe Jarlan sacrificing his own life in order that the Green Flame be defeated. There are some who believe that had Jarlan lived, he might have stood a chance of challenging Rodgar for the crown. castle over there. Neat. I'm trying to find this clarion they were talking about, but I don't see anything shaped like a giant horn. Which is going to make it difficult to figure out which of the uh, obelisks is marked with its symbol. But I suppose I should uh, really call it there. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. This is getting really interesting now. And who knows what's going to happen the next time we step into Tylo's shoes. I'll see you then, Burning Dog fans. Later!